wherever you're joining from, just in the name of the Lord, just worship His holy name. Just call on Him, just adore Him, just give Him the glory that is due to His holy name. Jesus, we honor you this morning. We give you all the glory.
Jesus, wherever you are, we give you glory, Lord. We honor your name. And I want to welcome you to another juncture of praising the Lord. I hope you are ready and ready to dance.
moyo wangu Awe upepo kwa tanga zangu Nanga yangu katika mawimbi Yewe ni wimbo wangu Falme wa moyo wangu Awe moto kwa mishipa zangu Mombi wa siku zangu Yewe ni wimbo wangu
Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, you are holy, you are mighty and gracious, God. We thank you, Lord, because you have given us yet another day, the day of the Lord. The day we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord, because you have blessed us even this morning. We thank you, Lord, because you have given us even time to come and have a fellowship with you, to worship you, Lord, and lift up your Lord name. I want to say that you are great God, there is none like you. You are God who was God, who is and God who will be. Lord, you are from everlasting to everlasting. You are hope and omega, that beginning and the end. I pray that, Lord, as we start this service, that you are going to be with us, that you are going to bless us. Even those, Lord, who are on the home line, that, Father, you are going, oh, Lord, to bless them. As you bless us, even bless them. Those are, Lord, on the way, Lord, Reverend Lukonzo and the Reverend Mwithi and the other team, Lord, who are going to West and they are coming back. I pray that you are going to safeguard save, save their journeys. I pray that you are going to protect them, O oh Lord. Give them must journeys, so everlasting Father. And upon reaching, we shall not forget to thank you. Lord, we bless your Lord name this morning. We pray even as we start, Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit of God is going to be with us, everlasting Father. We worship you, Lord, and we adore you. Father, receive honor and glory this morning. We thank you, for Lord, for all what you have been doing with us, O oh Lord. In the entire week, you have been with us. You have protected every one of us. You have provided for us, O oh Lord. We have seen your goodness and the mercy and the love upon our lives. Lord, we have got no other God except you. We bless your name. We bless your name, O oh Lord. Receive honor and glory this morning. Have your way, Father, in our, in our lives. Have your way, Lord, even in, in this service. I pray that you are going to move with us even by your Holy Spirit. Let your Holy Spirit be a teacher and a reminder, Lord, of the Lord serving you all the time. Thank you, Lord, for every one of us who, every one of us who is here, Lord. I want to pray for every brother and every sister who is here. And those who are online, Father, I pray that you are going to bind us with, together with your, with, your, with your love. We worship and we adore you. Have your way. Receive honor and glory this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. One as fear. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. We want to thank the Lord because of what he is doing and what he has been doing with our lives. He has been faithful and he is faithful all the time. We want to thank you because even he has opened doors for us to be coming and worshiping like, like, like as usual. By next week, I think we shall be here as usual because it has been declared that we can start worshiping as usual. I just want us to go directly through the word of God. Those are here. Those are on online. We, I want to welcome every one of you. We want to go direct to the book of Malachi. Mark. The book of Mark. That's the second book of the New Testament. From Matthew, we come to St. Mark. He was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ. I just want to, wrote to go to chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. I want to start with us, verse 35. Mark 4, that 5, let's read together. On the same day, when the evening had come, he said to them, that is to his disciples, let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and the other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was almost filling. But when he was in the stern, 
asleep on the pillow, and they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and they said to one another, Who can this be, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Father, I thank you for your word. I pray that, Lord, you are going to speak to us through your word. I pray that, Lord, you are going to give us understanding of your word. Give us direction by your word. Because there is, there is life in your word. I pray that you are going to speak to our lives. Speak to our soul. Speak to our spirit, soul, Lord. I pray that, Lord, you are going to manifest yourself to our lives. I pray that, Lord, you are going to move with us in this service. That you are going to guide us. That you are going to speak to us. Because God always, you have got a word for us. I pray that you are going, dear Father, to speak to us, everlasting Father, this morning. Those who are here, Lord, speak to us. Those who are not here, Lord. Those who are, Lord, on the way coming. Those who are, Lord, in, on, on online, Father. I pray that you are going, dear Father, to speak to every one of us. We love you and we worship you because you have got no other God except you. You are our only hope. You are our only trust, Lord. We are believing in you even for great things because you are faithful, God, and you are God who loves us with everlasting love. We love you, Lord, and we worship you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Today we are going to hear the word of God. Because the word of God, the Bible tells me in Psalms that the word of God is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The word of God will enlighten us, will give us light to the path, to the way we are going. The word of God has power. The word of God has power to heal. The word of God has power to deliver. All we need in this life is the word of God. All we need in our daily lives is the word of God. Because the word of God has power even to deliver us from the snares of the devil. The word of God will give us direction. The word of God will guide us. When we are in the word of God, we cannot get lost in this journey of salvation. Because the word of God will make a light, will enlight the path for us. Where we have just read, where we have just read in the book of Mark chapter 4 in verse 35, the Bible says, on the same day, that evening, when evening had, had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. In this journey of salvation, we are, on, we are on the journey. We are moving. We are not stagnant. We are not seated. This, first, this, this time they were going on the other side for a mission. Their mission was over on the, over, over the other side. And that is why he told, he told them, let us cross over to the other side. They were crossing over the Sea of Galilee. And the God, oh Jesus Christ was with them. My topic will be overcoming storms. Overcoming storms of life. Jesus is always with us in this journey, as he was with them in that journey. In this journey of our salvation, 
in this journey, God is always with us. And the Bible tells me as they were crossing, there arose storms to oppose their journey. On their way, storms arose against them, against their journey. This reminds us as, as, we, as believers, as Christians, we have to meet storms. We have to meet difficult situations. Believers have got the most storms than the calm seas. But the God will always empower you to overcome them. These storms are the challenges of life. These challenges are the pressures of life. Difficult times come on our way. Trials will come on our way. Temptations will come on our way. From all corners. But the good thing is that Jesus has promised to be with us in every situation, in every condition, in every difficulties. Christ is with us. Because these this storms, they come to hinder us from reaching our destiny. They will love to come. As long as you are a believer, they will love to come. Because when you, become, you became a believer, when you became a Christian, you waged the war with the devil. And you shouldn't be prepared to fight this war. But this war, we are fighting, we are not alone. Christ is with us and he will enable us to win the battle. So my brother, my sister, be prepared. Storms, at the times, are surely coming on your way. But they should not discourage you. Because God is with us. Storms will come even to your family. Storms will come to even to your houses. But don't be discouraged. Because we have Christ in us. And whoever is in us is greater than who is in the world. Whoever is in us is greater than those situations. Whoever is in us is greater than those storms. Storms of life are with us here. Sicknesses, diseases, they are with us here. We have this one which now is almost in the entire in the world, this coronavirus. It is with us here. It has shaken the entire world. It has shaken the believers and the unbelievers. But we, we believers, we have hope. It will come to, to us and it will pass. Because God is our healer. Storms of poverty and the suffering and the lack will be with us. But they are not going to swallow us. Because we have Christ in us who is fighting every battle for us. You will be hated even by your people, by your own people. They will be against you. They will be against your life. But be assured that God is fighting for you. Christ is on you, on you, is fighting for you. As long as Christ is on the throne, you are going to overcome. Storms of unemployment will come. But don't be scared. Because God has got a plan for you and for your life. God has got a plan for you and for your family. God has got a plan for you. He made a plan for you. Even before you are created. And he has got good plans for you. So don't, don't be scared by these storms. Don't be afraid of these storms. They are coming. But they are coming. They are not coming to stay. They are not permanent. They are coming and they, they, they are going to pass. These waves, these storms, they will not drown you. You are not going to be drained. You are not going to sink. 
you are assured of floating over them. You are sure that you are going, you are definitely going to, to float. You are not going to sink. You are making it in this journey. It might seem to be a hard journey. It seems to be a difficult journey. But you are making it because you are not alone. There is someone in you who is empowering you, and it's Jesus Christ. You are making it through, your, through the resting place. The disciples were crossing over to the other side to go and rest. Though the same Christ is with us and is going to make us cross to the other side. This time when the boat was about to sink, it came to the time when the water was almost filling the boat and it was about to sink. And they tried how they could to remove the water from the boat. But the more they removed, the more it got, it got singing. Because this fight, we cannot fight this physical fight with the spiritual fight. They were fighting it physically, but it was spiritual because Christ was there. The devil was against, the devil, the, the, against Jesus because he was in the boat. So when they saw that, the boat was sinking. One of them, I don't know who, remembered that Jesus is in the boat. So he went and called, called Jesus. You know our troubles, you know our problems. We are supposed to remember that Christ is, with, is in us. Christ is with us. All we need to go just to call upon him. Call upon his, his, his name. And you see the solution, the solution of your problems. Christ is the present help in time of need. He is our close friend who will never, who will never no, forsake us. And the Bible says, if God is with us, who can be against us? If the God is with you, who can be against you? There is none who will be against you. And when you have in, in your life, you are sure that you are able to overcome all what you come on the way. And we as believers, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to resist the devil. We are supposed to resist that water will not get in our boat. We are supposed to make sure that we, don't, we, we are not going to allow the water to get into our lives. Because when the water gets in your, in your life as an unbeliever, when, when sin gets into your life, you will sink. So don't allow water to get into your boat. Don't allow water to get into your family. Don't allow water to get into your youth. Don't allow water to come to your business. Don't allow water to come to your career. Because when you allow water, you will sink. So you should not allow water. You should not allow sin to get into your life. Take care of that boat. That you are not going to sink. Every storm, every problem you, will be, you are facing or you will be facing, it will have to pass away. It will be completely gone. Only take sure and make sure you are not going to allow your boat. You are not going to allow water to enter your boat. How do we overcome these storms? We cannot overcome these storms alone. When disciples discovered that their boat was sinking, when they discovered that the water was, was almost filling the, the boat, they called on Jesus to save and rescue them. 
So we as in believers, with these storms, we need to call Christ. Because he knows what we are going through, through. He knows our problems. He knows our suffering. And he's ever with us. Our the problem, the, the solution of our problems, they are just a call away. You just call Christ and then your problems will be solved. When it is covered that they were they were singing. In the verse 39, the Bible says, when did they call to Christ? When did they call to Jesus? He rose and he rebuked the wind. And he said to the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Praise the Lord. There was a great calm. When did they call to Christ? Jesus did two things. He responded by doing two things. One, he rebuked the wind. The wind had to give way. The wind had to, to obey. The wind had to bow down. When you call upon the name of Jesus, he will rebuke. Every problems you are going through. He will rebuke that sickness. When you call upon him, he will rebuke and make a way for you. He will rebuke that circumstance you are going through. And when the wind was rebuked, it boiled down. As the Bible says in Ephesians 2.10, that is the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow. When did they call? And Jesus arose. He, he, he rebuked. And that knee, that, those knees of problems, they bow down. When you call upon Christ, every knee of what you are going through, it will have to bow down. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what situation you are in. But in that situation you are in, that condition you are in, when you call upon Christ, that the problems needs will have to bow. That situation will bow and live. That is sickness, that is suffering, that is disease. We will love to bow and live. That in this we will love to surrender. So I'm encouraging you that anything you every situation you are going through, or in every condition, you have a name to call. And the second thing, after rebuking, the second thing he spoke to the sea. The Bible says, don't tell me that. When he, when he rose and he rebuked the wind and they said to the sea, he spoke to the sea. He told the sea that it should be calm. He, saw, he told the sea that it should be still. It should be still. So he did two things. He rebuked and he spoke. Christ will speak to that situation, that situation you are in. Christ will speak to that condition you are in. He will speak to, to whatever you are going through. And it will become. Every rough situation you are passing through, it will become when Christ speaks to it. When you allow him to speak to your, to your situation, the Bible tells me that there was peace. They are going to be peace in that situation you are in. In that in the condition, condition you are going through. When he speaks to it, they are going to be peace. It is going to be calm. As he comes to that, the sea, he is going to come to that situation you are in. So what you need to do, just call upon his name. 
Just call on Christ. Because when he, when he called, that he heard the voice of Christ. And it had to become. So in that condition you are in, when you call upon him, he will come and he will silence that situation. He will heal you from whatever you are, you are suffering from. He will make a way for you. He will, and he will be with you in that way. God will rebuke Zanjibwara for you. God will rebuke the enemy for you. That wind of sickness, that wind of suffering, will be blown away by Christ. It will never be seen again any more in your life. It doesn't matter what you are passing through. It doesn't matter how you have suffered. It doesn't matter how you are tarmacked looking for a job. God is coming on the way. He will just come and speak to that condition. He will rebuke that devourer for you. And he will make a way for you. He will open a door for you where there seems to be no door for you. Because after all, you belong to God. You belong to Christ. And as long as in you, you are going to make it. In everywhere where the others are failing, you are not going to fall. And when you fall, he will raise you up. He cannot leave you there. For he will fight every battle for you. He will answer all the prayers you have been praying for. He will deliver you from all the snares of the devil. And every door which the devil has closed against your destiny, Christ will open it for you. Every door which has closed against your prosperity, Christ will open it for you. Every door which has closed against your employment, the Lord will open that door for you. Every door which you have been struggling to open, Christ will need for you. He will open that door for you. So what you need, just remain in Christ. Live for him. Serve him faithfully. And you see what God is going to do to your life. Don't you think you are serving Christ in the vain? God will love to reward you. God will have to repay you. You might, not, you might think that God has left you, but God is still with you. So, when you are serving God, serve him faithfully, and he will have to pay you. He cannot leave you like that. I remember one day, I had no vehicle, and I, I, I got the duty. I followed myself to be washing the vehicle of my pastor. I worship you and I adore you, Lord, because there is no other God like you. I pray for every brother and sister, Lord, who is here with undergoing storms and the waves of life. Come down, Lord, and rebuke that storm from that sister, from that brother, from that family. Come through for us, O oh Lord. Come through for them. Meet their needs, Lord, according to your riches in glory. Whatever they are what, Lord, they have been believing you for, I pray that you are going to be seen. That, Lord, you are going to make a way for them. That, Lord, you are going to stand with them in every situation they are in. That, Lord, as you said, you will never leave nor forsake us, Lord. Don't leave us, don't leave them, Lord, in whatever condition they are in. Stand with them. Most of them, Lord, I'm believing you, Lord. For businesses, I pray that will go to make a way for them. Prepare good businesses for them. Those, O oh Lord, who are looking upon you for employment, O oh God, to thy people, employment are there. I pray that you are going to release employment to your people. Release your employment, O oh my God, even to these young men who are here, who are believing you, Lord, for employment. 
open door for them which nobody can close. Even the devil himself cannot close that door. Stand with them, O oh Lord. Make them firm, Lord, in your word. And make a way for them. I want to thank you and bless your name. Father, we bless your name this morning. Have your way and go with us. And if, Lord, you make us meeting next week, next Sunday, Lord, next Wednesday, we shall not forget to thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.